CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. On this episode of Florida Sport Fishing. We are outside of Boca, just got set up kite fishing here. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Maxell Two Speed Big Game Reels, exceptional performance with silky smooth carbon drags and heat treated stainless steel gears. The future of fish fighting is here. VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand saltwater. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Motor Guide, precise maneuverability equals better fishing. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, we've got Captain Carlos, my nephew Leor up in the bow. We are outside of Boca, just got set up kite fishing here. Let me set the stage for you. Early January, cold front just blew through early this morning. And I'll tell you what, the temperature just dropped 20 degrees overnight. We're in the mid fifties here. Perfect sail fishing weather. We're gonna talk a lot about kite fishing today, a lot about the tackle, the techniques, and all of the fine little details that really are gonna make a big difference in your success when you come out here trying to fly these kites. Absolutely awesome tactic for a variety of species, not only the sailfish, which of course everybody loves to catch sailfish, but also dolphin, blackfin tuna, king mackerel. We've got a little bit of a northwest breeze right now. So we're kind of looking right into the sun, which makes it a little bit challenging until that sun gets higher up in the sky, but we'll make it work for sure. So stick around, let's see if we can get tight. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Got him? Yeah. Oh. I no watched that rod to double over. Good sign, we just got set up here and just missed the fish on the flat side. And we're always fishing baits when we're kite fishing. We're always fishing baits around the entire boat. I'm back here, I've got my kite in the stern. I'm flying three baits off my kite. Carlos is up in the bow, struggling to get his kite up, but he'll get it up. And uh, he's gonna be flying three baits off that kite. And then my nephew is on the flat line side fishing two baits up on the surface and one or two baits down deep. This way we're covering the whole water column. We're fishing mostly goggle eyes. I'd prefer to fish the gogs off the kites versus pilchards, but pilchards will certainly work. Blue runners will certainly work. Ballyhoo, also a good kite bait. You know, it's pretty much whatever you can get your hands on. And you know, kite fishing is one of those things where you know, I like to say you get out of it when you put into it. It's not just set your baits and forget about it. There's so much that's going on. You've got to constantly monitor those baits. You want them on or close to the surface, obviously not flying through the air. So depending on the conditions and how that wind is fluctuating, you may have to make constant adjustments to your kite rods, constant adjustments. And that's really what's nice, for example, about this CB with the rod holder placement when we designed this boat. You know, we knew we were gonna be kite fishing right out of these positions. So this way we don't have to use tridents. You can stand in one position and control everything without having to run up and down the side of the boat. Again, a small detail, but that's what successful kite fishing is. It's all about the small details. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Boats get dirty, that's a fact. Thankfully, Rejuvenate Marine uses patented nanotechnology to make your boat cleaning faster and easier, literally cutting your cleaning time in half. Watch this. With highly concentrated biodegradable ingredients across their complete line of cleaning and care products, Rejuvenate Marine lasts longer while providing professional cleaning power that's safe for all surfaces and for the environment. Rejuvenate Marine, spend more time fishing and less time cleaning. 
What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. Very selfish, selfish, selfish. Look, look. Car beat, your yeah, car beat. Yep. Just got eight. Tight, tight, just got tight, eight. tight on the sail. There he is, there he is, screaming. It won't pop out of the cliff. Oh. It's in the cliff. Oh, another sail up there, doubled up, baby. Oh, you better get it out of the cliff. I'm trying to, Mike. <laughs> I got problems. Outside of Boca, 140 foot. Early January, cold snap. Yeah, you got to fish on that one. Kite Check. fishing on the sea. Pop it. Pop doubled it. up yeah, on sails. I'm on the cove. It's too Carlos tight. just having a hard time. Yeah, no, this is a fish on here, right here. Yeah, I got one. For, you do? Yeah, see? Okay. There you go. Pop. Thank you. All right, we're good. Here go. Oh. What, what is uh, that mid bait? Reel it up. Reel it up. Reel it up. <laughs> I love the pandemonium. Reel it up. Oh, oh. yours? Yeah. Pulled hook, mine pulled hook. What we came for, boys, right here. It was so quiet, and then one, Boom. two, three. You know, again, it's all in the details. It's everything from checking the tension on the release clips to modify it based on the conditions to adjust it. Obviously, you want those release clips tighter if you're fishing larger baits, windier conditions. And if there's no wind, which is not the case this morning, but when there is no wind, you can release that tension on those kites way back down, especially if you're fishing lighter baits like pilchards. There I am, right here. Here he is, right here. Look at him. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. What a jump! Right in the sun. Here he is again. You know, people travel from all over the world to cash in on this world class sail fishing that we've got right here off the beach. Look at that beautiful fish right there. First sale of 2019, baby. First week of 2019, first sales. On the new boat, too. That's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on, baby. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Don't baby. hit me in the face. <laughs> Stay right there. The leader's right here. All right, I'm coming. There he goes. Oh! Put on a pair of gloves. He said, jump again. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, he's not done. This thing is lit. He is, dude. You know, and again, that 20 pound test, that's really, really important. It allows you to get maximum, you know, a maximum presentation with your live bait. It's strong enough for these sailfish. It's strong enough in the event you hook a bigger fish. Who knows, a big wahoo, a yellowfin tuna. These things happen when you're kite fishing. Plenty of line capacity and least amount of resistance on the wind. As a matter of fact, there's times we may even fish 16 pound on our long kite bait. But usually 20 pound is key. All right, here we go, here we go. Get a clean release on this guy right here. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Perfect, perfect, beautiful. Beautiful, dude, nice. All right. Good That's job. a good way to start the morning. Yeah, baby. Wow. Yeah, way baby. Cool. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. That looked like a quad, I'm telling you. My they had three yeah, on, yeah. and I saw another one it was definitely circling the, triple, the base. So yeah. two out of three isn't bad. Let's get uh, re-rigged here. Insider Secrets, brought to you by Pelagic, high-performance offshore gear. Fish just came up and boiled on my long bait. I don't know. Just saw something come up and just swirl on it. 
That's what's so exciting about kite fishing is the whole visual aspect, just looking for that sign that there's some sort of predator on top of them. And sometimes the strike is explosive, you know, it could be a king mackerel that just skies on the bait or a wahoo or a black fin tuna. Other times, you know, a sailfish may come right up to the bait and just circle around it real casually and slowly. Day like today, we've got, again, that northwest breeze. It was honking a little bit earlier, then it really has fizzled out to almost nothing at this point, making it a little bit challenging to keep those kites up, even with the balloons. And sometimes what you want to do when you lose all that wind, believe it or not, if you just take all of the floats off completely, take your weights off, take your floats off, and just scale down all of that terminal tackle. You don't need floats to go kite fishing. All it is is an indication as to exactly where your line is. And even though they don't weigh very much, they do catch a little bit of wind and they do bring that kite down just a little bit. But again, by just eliminating all of those floats and reducing your terminal tackle signature, Sometimes that makes a difference and makes it easier to keep that kite aloft. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. Another one on the jig. That's group for Dynamo. Yeah. How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors. With industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates, not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box, or freezer for every boat. You know, kite fishing is one of those tactics that can be extremely intimidating to somebody who's never done this before. If you're just getting into it, I would highly suggest you start with one kite and fish one bait off one kite. Learn how to get that kite up in the air, how to get it dialed in to fly to the left by applying split shots to the corners or to fly to the right by applying split shots to the right side. Okay, learn the, the intricacies of the kite, the bridle system, making sure that your spars are all lined up, your swivel's not tangled. Again, it's all about the little details. Once you get one kite up with one bait, then you can go ahead and move to a second bait, eventually a third bait, and then eventually a second kite, doing the same thing with one, two, three baits on that second kite. You need to be a well-orchestrated machine, a really well-oiled team in order to be able to do that, but it's all about communication and it's all about having to start somewhere. Don't forget to fish those lines on the flat line side of the boat as well. We've got at least one, if not two deep baits and a couple up on the surface. Some days those are gonna produce far better than the kite baits, you know, but you gotta put in the time. And if you're unsuccessful the first time, don't give up, you know, stick with it. It took, I'll tell you what, took me, oh, there's a fish right there on the long. He's eating my long. Sailfish on the long. Yep. Just came up and swirled right on it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Man. 
man, they're like really being finicky. It's a second or third fish that th did this to me so far this morning here. He's eating it. He's eating it. Ate it. Come on, oh, Slack. Yeah. Come on, Slack. Come on. He's coming at you. There he is. There he is. Tight, tight. Ah, oh, did you see how important that high speed reel is right there to get that whole bow aligned out of the water as quickly as possible and to get tight on the fish. I don't know what this is. I don't know. It's not that sail that I saw before. You know, that's just it. You just, you never know. You know, again, I'm suspecting that could be a shark. I know it's not a sailfish or anything like that. So, I'll tell you what, until we find out what this is, stick around, check out our rigging station. I'm gonna show you a couple of small details on rigging kites that could make a really big difference. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line. Hi, and welcome to my rigging station. Kite fishing is incredibly effective, but it could also be super frustrating. I wanted to share a few tips with you that are gonna make a big difference out on the water. First, select the appropriate kite based on the conditions. Your typical SFE, the red or green kites, most popular in use today, you see them everywhere. Perfect for five to 20 knot winds. However, if it's gonna you know, blow 20 to 30, you're gonna want a high wind kite, something like the Tigris high wind kite, smaller frame, heavier material, holes in the kite to diffuse some of that wind. On the opposite side of the spectrum, when you have no wind at all, you're gonna want a light wind kite, larger frame, lighter material, so it catches more wind. Pretty easy to understand, but important that you select that appropriate kite. Next are the spars. They're designed for each particular kite. Make sure the little hash marks are all lined up and facing up and away from the kite. Gonna make a big difference in how that kite flies. The bridle system. By pulling that little bridle a little bit closer to you, the kite's gonna fly higher in the sky. By pushing the bridle away from you, the kite will fly lower in the sky. But make sure you make small adjustments a quarter inch at a time. Finally, kites are really expensive, anywhere from around $130 to $200 a pop. You're gonna lose a kite every now and then. The line's gonna break, it's gonna happen. They sink like a rock. We like to add the little kite floats right on the spars. This way, if it falls in the water, you can go retrieve it, pick it up, and boom, you're good to go. Independently, these tips may not be uh, you know, significant, but combined, they're gonna make a big difference out on the water. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, look, look, look at him out there. Oh, what was that? That was a sailfish. Fooled me all together. Look at him, look at him. Man, absolutely fooled me. Guess it was that sail that came up on my bait, finally ate it and just decided to take off. Fooled me completely. That, you know, we talked a lot about line. And one thing that I can't stress enough is just fresh mono. You know, your line is the only thing connecting you to that fish. Make sure that line is fresh. And I'm not saying you've got to dump your entire spool every time you come out and re-spool. Obviously, it's gonna vary depending on how much use it's gotten. But at least, the, you know, top 100 yards, that top shot, freshen it up, peel it off, cut it off, recycle it properly. And with a blood knot, just splice on you know, a fresh top shot of 100 yards because that's going to be the section that's used the most. Just nice short pumps closing that gap between the fish and me. And remember, the closer that fish is to the boat, the more careful you've got to be because monofilament stretches tremendously. It's like a giant rubber band. So the more line that's out there, the more give you have, the more forgiveness you have. The closer that fish gets to the boat, the less forgiveness. One thing that's important to mention too, is you really wanna to touch these fish as least as possible. You know, so many guys lift them out of the water and they drag them across the gunnel and you know, hold them up for a photo. Eventually that fish is likely gonna die. So we're getting really close to the boat. One of you guys wanna grab a pair of gloves and we'll get a clean release on this beautiful sailfish. How we doing? Went berserk again, huh? Peaches and cream. Oh. Well, we touched the leader three times, so that's a relief. What was that? I went to give you a high five. 
What just happened? What did you do? Really? We'll be right back. How many circles did he do? And that's what happened. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year round. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Lingren Pitman, purpose-built, high-capacity 12 and 24 volt electric deep drop, dredge and daytime swordfish reels. Number one in design, ease of use, reliability and power. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Salt Life Optics, anti-glare Zeiss lenses, provide unparalleled protection and polarization. Taco Marine, official outrigger system of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Nice. On the spinner, on the flat. Oh, look at him, Woo. look at him, look at him. Good job, good job. Remember, 16 pound on there, so take your time. Nice light drag. Nice light drag, you got plenty of line capacity. You know, again, here, perfect example. My nephew had a few baits on the flat line side. That was on a guy, woo, listen to that, baby, run. listen to that. You know, on the flat line side, and that sailfish didn't eat one of the kite baits, it ate the flat bait. Oh, you got a big fight ahead of you, pal. You know, you've been fishing, how old are you now? I'm now 19. 19, so I remember when you were barely old enough to walk, you know, starting to fish yep. on the beaches, and then from there, graduating to the piers. To the, the inlets. Inlets. Jetties. Yep. And now, now on the boat. Now on the boat, baby. Fighting That's sailfish. Right. Fighting sailfish. See if you can maybe just put a little bit more heat on them, just a little bit to see if you can maybe get them. Turn them around. Yeah, to turn them around and start gaining some line on them. And you know, now not only fishing piers and beaches and on the boat, but you also work on a head boat as well. Right. You know, down off Key West on a party boat, something that I've done, something that your dad did as well. You know, so following in those footsteps, keeping the tradition alive. This is a next generation right here. Next generation of Florida sport fishing. As long as you don't lose them, then it's right, over. Right, right, right. <laughs> You can walk up, walk up to the bow, I'll get this out of your way. In this particular case, how important is it that that line is fresh? Very oh, important. Right, I mean, <laughs> because with 16, you don't have any gin no whatsoever, gin. you know, everything is so fragile, but as long as it's fresh and your connections are good and your drag is set properly, and remember, drags are adjustable. All of these companies, spent millions of dollars on creating these reels with adjustable drags. You know, it's not set it and forget it. Let's swing under these now. We're going back again? All yeah. right, yep. here he comes. Go. One swift move. Yep, just like that. Some there fluid. He Ooh, there he is. Nice job. Just bring it over here. I'll grab that leader. That'll be an official release. Uh-oh, close, close, close. There we go. Got it. Yep. How awesome is that? Sick fit. Finally. There you Got him. Go. Yeah, he's on there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Another one. Woo! 
I don't know if it's a sale. There he goes, waking up a little bit. Waking up a little bit. Grima. Hey, you can't determine what kind of fish eats your bait, you know? But I would have to guess maybe a kingfish. Screaming like that yeah. and not jumping, obviously. Yeah, something long and silvery, maybe a nice king. Hey, tell you what, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. I certainly had a great time, yes, Carlos. Same. You are a great oh, job. Yeah. Came out to do some look, kite look, look. fishing. Oh, yeah, that is a nice game, dude. Here, hang on one second. I'm going to this thing. Nice job. Get up in here. All right. Woo! Fatty. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Hey, came out to do some kite fishing. You're in that spinner. Outside of Getting Boca. Done. You know, it's all in the details. Great work, guys. Thank you. Got to stick with it. That's right, man. That's the whole key. And remember, if at first you don't succeed, never give up. Get back out there and keep fishing. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all at Florida Sport Fishing, and we'll see you next week. Nice work. See ya. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.